Resuming debate, uh, the Honorable Secretary Parliament. Honorable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank the member for Victoria for his motion. We're very pleased to have an opportunity to reiterate our government's commitment to Canadians regarding the legalization regulation of marijuana and the responsible and orderly approach that the government is adopting to fulfill that commitment. As members know, that commitment was part of our election platform, which got broad support from the Canadian public from coast to coast during the last election campaign. The commitment was and still is to legalize, regulate and limit access to marijuana, to prevent it from getting into the hands of children and that profits go into the hands of criminals, to punish more severely those who provide it to a minor, those who drive after consuming cannabis, or who sell it outside the new regulatory framework. The Prime Minister stated clearly on many occasions that our government will meet that commitment. It was included in the letter of mandate of the Minister of Health, the Minister of Justice, and the Minister of Public Safety, recognizing that it requires more than changing a few words in the legislation. We will go forward with the reality and focus on public health issues, prevention, treatment, and make sure that issues concerning criminal justice are dealt with. Simply decriminalizing possession of even small quantities of marijuana, as proposed by the member for Victoria, would be, with all due respect, quite imprudent. Canadians support legalization, but they want the reassurance that the important issues of uh, security are fully dealt with. Right tools and training to address drug-impaired driving. They want to know that appropriate measures are in place to keep marijuana out of the hands of their children and that criminals will not profit from legalization. Immediate decriminalization would address none of these issues. That is why our government is taking a responsible, ordered approach to fulfilling this commitment, but that does not mean we are not moving forward. Our goal continues to be to introduce the appropriate legislation in the spring of next year. As we work towards that goal, we are also mindful that this must be a collaborative effort. We cannot advance without engaging our provincial and territorial partners. We are striking a task force to consult with provincial and territorial governments, with experts in public health, substance abuse, law enforcement, criminal justice, and economics, with indigenous and youth groups, and with other stakeholders and Canadians. This process is in motion. The Minister of Public Safety, Justice and Health wrote to their provincial and territorial counterparts in March, inv inviting them to provide recommendations on the name of experts to be considered as members of the task force, which will be launched in the very near future. In addition, Madam Speaker, a secretariat has been established at Health Canada to support the work of the task force. This secretariat, which is already in place, will also play an important role in relation to the federal, provincial, territorial working group on marijuana legalization and regulation. The working group met for the first time last month and will continue to meet regularly going forward to ensure on an ongoing dialogue about the approach and strategies for better coordination, including common communication materials. As you might imagine, Madam Speaker, our provincial and territorial partners need clarity on the nature of their role under a new regime, such as whether marijuana will be federally or provincially regulated and distributed. Our partners are asking us to take the time necessary to ensure they are able to implement any legislative or operational changes that may be required on their part to support a new regime.
monsieur, on n'a pas entendu. Alors, je m'excuse, mais on n'a pas entendu. Est-ce que vous... I'm sorry, but we didn't hear you. Could you repeat that, please? Je voudrais affirmer, Madame la Présidente, que... I'd like to state that after my speech, I will be sharing my time with my colleague. Alors, la députée aura... The member will have five minutes left the next time he can resume debate on this topic. L'honorable member for Rivière-du-Nord.